Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only see the son of Nube is my name and I hope I find you well. Uh, we've just come from a weekend and I hope uh, very few of you came back uh, tired uh, of grooving or having gone to worship. Um, there is something that I want to talk about. It's actually, it's two things. First and foremost, it's about whether or not the permit application, especially the waiver application, has been closed for those who are holders of the ZEP because there are some who believe that there was a deadline or there is a deadline as to when somebody can apply for a waiver. There are others also who want to know if a waiver does expire. There are others as well who want to know if uh, the application expires, if somebody hasn't paid their money at v I mean for VFS services that is at the bank having applied for a waiver long back when this uh, the process began and then there are others who want to know whether or not it is true that dr aaron musualeti was threatened with that with the death and if the people who threatened him are zimbabweans and if they've been arrested and then there are others also who are circulating uh, some letters from reported lawyers or from lawyers uh, advising people to pay some amounts of money so that they can get them uh, permanent residence permits, uh, general work visas and business permits uh, via court, via forcing Home Affairs uh, Department to give them those documents through court action. So these are the things that I'm going to talk about. Uh, the first and foremost, as I've said, uh, is based on the question on whether or not the applications for waivers for Zimbabwe exemption permits has been closed. The answer to that is no. Uh, for as long as you have uh, ZEP and you want to try your luck on the mainstream South African permit, without qualifications your only route towards that is applying for a waiver uh, so rush and apply for a waiver because it takes between four and seven months for it to be processed and dispatched uh, and in the worst case scenario it can take up to two years there are people who applied when the process began who are still yet to get their outcome so you don't want to be caught up in a catch-22 situation whereby the date of the expire of the ZEP which is 31 December 2024 uh, nears and you still haven't done anything so I hope I've answered that one then the second one does the waiver expire uh, the ZEP which you have will expire on the 31st of December 2024. The waiver that you have is not a permit. The waiver that you have is an agreement by the Department of Home Affairs that you can apply for any permit in the mainstream of South Africa without meeting certain requirements. It's an allowance for you to apply for a permit which will regularize your stay and your operations in South Africa uh, without meeting some qualifications or other criterion that you need to meet. So it is not a permit. When the ZEP expires and you have that waiver, without having to uh, uh, apply for another for any mainstream permit, you will be required to leave South Africa. In short, I am saying, once you get your waiver, don't sit on it. Rush and apply for a mainstream South African permit, which you may get or you may not get. And if you don't get that mainstream South African permit, what you need to do is to then apply for another mainstream South African permit in a different category Oh, for a ZEP, that is the new ZEP, which expires on the 28th of November, 2024. 
2025. But for you, to, in order for you to be able to do that, you need to apply for a mainstream South African permit and get or fail to get it before the 31st of December 2024. I hope I am clear about that. I'm not going to talk about that again because I have responded. Then the other issue is um, on the issue regarding the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Metzualet, whether or not it is true that he has been threatened with death, yes, as we said previously, the death threats are there, the minister spoke about them, and he says he handed over the case to the Hawks, that is the Specialized Crime Unit, uh, which investigate uh, high-profile cases, including the matter of death threats against the minister that we are talking about. And that case has been reported, it's been investigated, according, that is according to our belief, or according to what the minister has said. The Hawks uh, has not according to my knowledge, reported anything on that issue on where their investigations have reached. But it is our sincere hope that whoever is responsible for this gets arrested. If it's a cabal of people or it's a cartel, they must get arrested and they must pay for their crime because this is a serious crime. You don't threaten a minister in a country. Whether you belong in that country or you are there in that country legally or illegally, you must be arrested and you must be dealt with. Whether this is a genuine death threat or it is an extortion case, it is our sincere hope that the person or people responsible for that get arrested and get punished severely for it in order for these kind of things to stop happening. And as I said previously, there are a number of such cases where people have been extorted, who have not been high-profile case uh, people, but who are believed to be running businesses, especially, and people want to extort money out of them by claiming that they've been hired to kill them, and as a result, they want to be paid more so that they don't kill the people that they've been hired to kill. And we hope that whoever is responsible for those kinds of things gets arrested because it is our duty to make sure that we contribute to a crime-free South Africa. Whether we are here to settle permanently or we are, as in cases of people like us, already preparing to go back to our home countries. So this is a high-profile case. It is not true, however, that there has been anyone arrested and that it has been found that Zimbabwe is responsible for this. So let's not go, uh, let's just go around spreading lies about this or generalizing a nationality or claiming this kind of thing because it is not something that is good. So I will leave it there. And then there are uh, messages circulating, especially on social media, especially on WhatsApp, where people want to be paid as much as 14,000 claiming that they are lawyers who can take you to court to force the Minister of Home Affairs or the Department of Home Affairs to grant you one form of permit or another or a permanent residence permit uh, via court action. Do not be duped into parting with your hard end cash. You will be duped if you pay this amount of money and you will not get anything. Thank you very much. I hope this brings to finality uh, these kind of questions. Thank you very much. Don't, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it, but also partake in these conversations. Bring us whatever you found uh, around these issues. If you have questions again, please don't hesitate to contact us via the comment section underneath this video and we will engage with you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.